one PC to rule them all. We could start tomorrow, 1st of January 2019. So I'm inviting you to this first worldwide phenomenon where I give you collective authority in deciding every component of my next PC build. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey name tags and welcome this is Ash from Hill My Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. On this channel we do reviews, repairs and other tech tutorials. So like and subscribe, enable the bell icon notification and also consider using our Amazon affiliate links to help the channel without costing you anything extra. Thanks a million. So I'm still using an AMD FX8350, 16GB DDR3 RAM and Sapphire R9380 4GB DDR5 GPU for content creation here on YouTube. So I think it's probably time that I upgrade for the year 2019. What do you think? But wait, what do I upgrade to? What about AMD Ryzen 3000 series? Do I wait for that? What about Intel? And when do I buy the parts? And from where? All these questions and more. And wait, did I mention that this PC needs to be compatible? compatible with Windows, Linux and Mac? Oh yeah, we're building a Hackintosh, but we're gonna cross that Hackintosh ethical and legal bridge when we come to that. But from the onset, all the parts of this PC need to be carefully selected for cross-platform compatibility. I will be installing all three operating systems on three different drives for less complicated booting up. And one more thing amongst many others is that this system need also to be compatible and optimized for the professional video editor DaVinci Resolve, which performs all image processing on the GPU. So it's not just about the processor in this build. Because yes, this PC is going to become my daily driver for content creation here on YouTube as its primary function, but also as a gaming computer. So it should be a decent all-rounder. After we build the PC together, we're going to install every software for an end-user experience. And I'm going to offer you this comparative end-user cross-platform experience for this ultimate Windows vs Mac vs Linux paradigm. Sounds good. So should we call this series one PC to rule them all series or something else? Maybe hack Windows or Mac Windows. Maybe that should be your first decision to make in terms of finding a more appropriate catchy title. Details coming up. So do you want to join me on this unique journey for a complete A to Z build? First of its kind on YouTube as we catalog and document every aspect in so much detail that anyone from little Timmy to your grandma could pick up copy and be able to build their first PC with minimum or zero input. So why am I doing this? Why do I need your help? If you take a look at my channel, it will probably become apparent that I probably don't need your help. I could just complete my research, order the parts, do the tutorial build and be done within a week or so. But that's the thing. I don't want it to be done within a week or so. I want this to continue. Here's why. I want this to continue for a long time, at least a three month period, maybe more of consistent and continuous content for uploads. In other words, I want to create a complete A to Z series and only focus on it until completion. Everything else on my channel will take a backstage unless there's a deadline to upload something because of professional commitment. I believe this is missing on this platform. I mean, it could be part of YouTube's charm, the fact that our content is so disjointed, but for me, it's becoming a problem to come up with daily content, even with careful planning and batch working because it's not working out for me. So doing this project, not only will it give me something to focus and a standard structure to follow, but it will also give you viewers a TV-like series experience. After all, YouTube probably wants us to create more content, which feels like TV series because that would help to increase the daily engagement, right? If I'm going to try anything to grow my channel this year in 2019, then let it be this project. We could be the guinea pig and this could become a pioneer for others to follow and also stand as hardcore evidence of one way to grow your channel on YouTube organically. So join me as I start posting this project up on other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Reddit. Details are going to be in the description below of the links. I'm going to invite others to join into this project. For now, I'm going to stick to the hashtag one PC to rule them all or hack Windows or Mac Windows unless we can come up with something better. So your first uh, mission, if you choose to accept it, is going to be to go to the community tab post and uh, participate in the poll whereby we decide on the most appropriate title. So put it down below, either you vote for one of these three that I've just mentioned or put it in the other and uh, put down which title you think might be quite appropriate for this series. Guys, I don't know, but I think this is a pretty cool idea. Oh, it's probably the dumbest 
because I never had so far on this platform. I don't know. You can be the judge of that and time will tell. But whether it's a great idea or it becomes a flop, I'm super excited to find out because I believe that together, collectively, we could come up with an as close as perfect system as possible. I'm sure if you've built a PC before, you remember what it was like the first time you did it, how long it took you to find all the parts, how obsessed you became with trying to find compatibility and every component needs to work in such harmony with each other, which is kind of nonsense really to be honest with you because there's no such thing as a perfect system, but there is a perfect system for you. So that's what we should try to aim for. So I'm thinking we're going to conduct regular polls after we discuss which parts may be more suitable. And then to make it simple, I'm going to leave all the polls here on the YouTube community post. There is a technical reason in terms of uh, SEO and engagement, why it's not a great idea to send people outside of YouTube's website, but we'll get to that later. So even if I post things on social media elsewhere, I'll be asking them to come onto YouTube polls to vote on the poll. Hope that's clear, yeah? I know guys, I've never been great on social media. It's my fault, it's never been a secret, but I'm hoping by doing this, I will start engaging with you guys a bit more. So, so the links for all my social media is gonna be below. Do join and uh, I'll post regular updates as well there, but we'll do the poll here on YouTube. Obviously with a polling system, we'll decide based on the majority. It might not always be right, but for the most part, it should be okay. And even if we make mistakes, well, I'm sure we're gonna rectify and learn on the way. So let's show others what a community can do when we get together. Let's make YouTube great again. I think there's already a hashtag for that, isn't there? Let's make YouTube great again. We'll probably use it, I don't know. Okay, so that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to having all of you to join this project. Who knows, we might even get to collaborate maybe some of you could appear on my youtube channel and help with the build let's hope so so like this video subscribe if you've not done so yet use my affiliate links to help the channel hoping you're gonna join me on this project this was Ash from Hill helping you go from newbie to techie until next time peace out